Hey, Scarefest fans, this is Joe Lewis of Bonehead Weekly with another review. And this one's a new movie and it's out and it's on Paramount Plus. And technically, technically, it's a prequel to a movie that I kind of enjoyed from 2009. If you've never seen Orphan, and it stars Vera Farmiga, who is a fantastic character actor, as Peter, uh, Peter Skarsgård, and Isabel Furman is the orphan, you know, and she is not a nice person. Her name is Esther. She gets into all kinds of shenanigans, to put it lightly. Just all kinds of shenanigans. You know, this just, as a parent, you know, she's just kind of a, she's an excitable kid. Anyway, she's very excitable. And if we find out if she's killing folks and whatnot, and here's a big plot twist. I'm sorry to give it away, but she's actually like 30-something. She was played at the time by a 13, 15 year old girl, and that's the big twist of the movie. And I, I, it's not a bad film. It came from Dark Castle. I loved a lot of Dark Castle pictures. I liked Orphan. Did I need a sequel? Did I need a prequel? No. But did they give us one? They sure is, sure did. Is it terrible? No. It stars Isabel Furman again, and now she's in her 20s and late 20s. And she looks like she's in her late 20s. It doesn't work the same. It's not the same. And she's a good actress, and she does the best of what she's got. So basically, what we find out, she's in an orphanage over there in Russia or someplace in Yugoslavia or somewhere. She's, they, everybody thinks she's a nine-year-old, but she's not. She orchestrates her escape and ends up, uh, pretends to be someone's abducted daughter, abducted daughter, and gets back into Connecticut and with his family. And there's a twist with the family that I don't want to give away too much. And Julia Stiles plays her mother. That's the best part of the movie is a little bit of the twist. Okay. And that happens about a halfway, two thirds through the movie. She kind of has a crush on the dad. Something happens. And we find out some stuff because we already know she's 30 some years old pretending and she's a murderer and she's bad. Bad news. Bad news. This lady's bad news. Sometimes that works with prequels. You get to learn more. And I have, there's a lot of reviews out there that really like this movie. I don't think it's dreadful. I just think the low budget shows through. I think the fact that she's no longer 13, 14 playing a nine year old and then she's 20 some playing a nine year old shows through through a little too much when they cut to the corner and it's kind of a lot with peter jackson did with lord of the rings only did it beautifully for example it's her and they've got somebody here above her and then they'll cut and you can see somebody walking but they don't just quite walk like her her stand-in who's smaller you know it's not her or at least i knew it wasn't her it just threw me out every single time i would see it and it drove me crazy that being said it's not awful it's just completely forgettable orphan first kill is completely forgettable it, I, she's a good actress i like julia style she's a good actress there's not much to write home about there's not a ton of character development in this one it is from dark castle but it's from a couple other people's people as well who produced it should check it if you really liked orphan and you like the whole plot of orphan then check it out if you have paramount plus don't break your neck to see it i can't really recommend it it's not awful it's just kind of the budget shows through i don't know it just didn't do it for me the director also directed the boy and brahms to the boy which i saw the boys okay but this one doesn't quite work so orphan first kill i can't recommend it i know somebody's going to throw a knife at me later because i know they're fans and by the way scarefest fans a couple of weeks i'm going to be seeing you live so try not to do anything weird when you see me in person please this has been joe lewis of bonehead weekly see you later 